Welcome back to Shamrock Fresh. I'm Chris Casson, and this week's focus is going to be specialty cheeses. Now, this comes as a request from one of our chefs up in the Aspen area. After last week, we reached out to all of you saying, what would you like to see? Give us some ideas of uh, upcoming Shamrock Fresh videos. His request was specialty cheese. So we're going to focus on six different cheeses. We're going to look at the origin, the pack size, maybe some of the uses, and how the flavor profile compares to other cheeses of the same nature but different brands. So let's take a look at what, what we have laid out here. So the first item we're going to look at here is our champignon. Now this is a double cream brie. Uh, you can see down here it's, uh, it's actually a mushroom brie. So you've got what they consider a forest blend. Now they don't specify the mushroom just because they're typically putting in uh, whatever is going to be best at that time of the season. But it definitely has a, a great visual appeal. It'd be good for cheese platters. It does hold up fairly well. You can see uh, it's got a firmer texture for brie. Uh, keep in mind, it is still a double cream, so it will soften as it as it comes to room temp. And that comes available in a one five pound wheel. The next item we're going to look at here is our reserve English cheddar, and you can see this is a eighteen month old aged cheddar. Uh, one thing that is very unique about it uh, when you start to uh, get into the cheddar itself, you can see it's a little bit drier. It's going to have uh, to the bite some of the protein crystals. Sometimes you get that when you have a, a nice uh, Parmesan aged, aged cheese, something that's uh, got a little bit of, of age to it where the milk solidifies into the proteins and that's what you get when you get that crunch or that granular texture. Um, this comes out of Belton Farms in England and uh, it is available in a 110 pounder. All right, this is a familiar cheese to most. This is our Cypress Grove Humboldt Fall Goat Cheese. Now, this is an aged goat milk cheese. You can see that it has the semi-soft, uh, the rind on the outside. And if you look, you'll see that it's got a layer of ash around both the rind as well as the middle. Now, that's a, a vegetable ash. Obviously, it is edible. Uh, this is 100% goat's milk. has a very creamy texture and kind of a tangy flavor. You'll get uh, a bit more tang out of this than you will some of the other uh, goat cheeses that we've highlighted. Now here we have, um, this is not a cheese, but it is nice to accompany on the platters. This is our fig bread. Um, this is made by Matisse. This is uh, a Spanish imported item. And you can see uh, primarily all it is is fig and it's uh, been compressed uh, it's called fig bread typically it's sliced like a piece of bread would be put on a cheese platter nice sweet flavor um, very very intense fig flavor so a little bit does go a long ways now the next item here this is a we're showing a half wheel this does come in a full wheel this is our uh, moody blue cheese now this, if you look, if you get down in there and you look at the uh, veins, it's not quite as blue and, and marbled out as some blue cheese is. Uh, this is a 60 day cure, it is cow's milk, um, but what's unique about it is it's been smoked over fruit wood. So when you try this blue cheese, it has a very distinct smokiness that you would get out of like a smoked cheddar or a smoked mozzarella. It is a true smoke, but it, it imparts a really nice subtle smokiness to the cheese, not very overpowering. Okay, now this is our Bergkass Gruyere. Uh, this is uh, Austrian Gruyere cheese. Uh, it does come approximately one three or three three point one pounders. So you can see this is a three point one seven pounder. Uh, this is a PDO product. That means protected designation of origin. It's much like a champagne, where champagne can only be called champagne because of where it, where uh, it's the grapes are grown. So here you can see this is a, a true Gruyere. Um, it is made in the Bavarian Alps in Germany and once again this is another one of those cheeses that may have uh, those slight crystals because as it starts to age you get a few of these little holes very similar to a Swiss you might start to get a little cracking uh, but a nice good flavor uh, much much more intense than say just a Swiss or even a Nimenthaler alright the last item we're going to look at here is our Gorgonzola Dolce Latte and this is how it comes to you. It's a 1-3 pounder. Uh, this is a creamier blue cheese, uh, softer in texture. It's a little bit younger. Um, it is an Italian blue cheese. And if you look right here, you can see even some of the moisture content that's in the cheese. A uh, little less blue vein than some of the other ones as well, but this is more of a creamy gourd. Uh, it's a great accompaniment with different proteins. I know a lot of people pair blue cheese with um, like steaks and tenderloin, things like that. Uh, this would be a nice one because it's not your dry crumbles. It's got a lot of moisture to it. 
So hopefully with these six different cheeses uh, that we're showing you here today, give you an idea of some of the specialty cheese lines that Shamrock carries. Uh, this is a very small snapshot of our list. Do get with your sales rep. Uh, we have full catalogs on all of our cheeses specifically. We can get one out to you, and uh, we'll see you again next week with Shamrock Fresh.